Well, I mean, it's based after the prison plumb line, and uh, the script was, was dynamic. And whenever you have a great director like this one, it just takes it to another level. It's based on the lives of five real female inmates. I'm the church lady. The, the ladies that I meet behind bars, I will never forget. And they, they inspired me to write this book, and they have blessed me. Look at this, they have blessed me. Without them, there'd be no this. The overall message was the plumb line, um, getting you straight and on the right road. Um, no matter what happened in your past, you can move on from your past and get on that plumb line and get on a straight and narrow. I'm so excited tonight. Um, because Yvonne Medley, who has written a beautiful novella called Prison Plumb Line, a lyrical drama, um, has laid out a wonderful, wonderful storyline that many of us, you may be able to identify with more than you think you do. But I can't be Trey Brad. He took me in when you threw me out. He was taking care of me. He was taking you straight to hell and hand you off. For some of us, it may be abuse, it may be drugs, it may uh, be a, a myriad of different things. But when I begin to think about it, what would I have done in certain situations where people got on my nerves? How would I have reacted after letting stuff fester inside of me so, for so very long? And I thought, it is not that hard to go to prison. Um, we doing business over here. Can you get the step? We doing business. Come on, over there. Do that. Dang. Over there. You know what, you're gonna pay for that. And then I began to look at the numbers of incarcerated women where there are over one million women in prison or in the criminal justice system. And in California alone, 92% of those women have had some type of abuse. There's nothing wrong with me, I'm not dealing with anything, I just don't belong here. And so what if I'm pissed off the God? If there is a God. Uh, well, women are the fastest growing incarcerated uh, numbers, double that of men, as far as the rate of growth. And for women, we represent 30% women of color, and we're only 13% of the population. So it ain't that hard to go to prison. We were just talking about it. It was really a very good play. It's also a thin line. Boy, it can happen to anybody. It's a very, very strong, positive message of how you can enter a very negative place and just be completely blessed by being it. So you got to leave your mind and your heart open to God no matter what your circumstances. It's just at some point you got to learn that you got to grow up. You know, you got to make that decision to want more for your life and really take the steps to do so. So um, when Lydia returns back to jail, that's her, that's her final moment. You know, it's the final moment where she trusts God. Instead of playing with the idea of him being there when you want him to and not really accepting the fact that you need him always, um, that was her life-changing moment. In time, God has a divine time for us to, you know, sometimes keep us still yeah. to be able to embark the message or the destiny that he has for us. What? See, I know you're ready now. Forget what they told.